Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a TCL smart TV with the Roku TV and you have an issue with your remote. Maybe the power button's not working, maybe one button's not working, maybe several buttons not working, or maybe it's ghosting. Maybe things are just happening without you even touching it. I'm gonna show you guys how to get that up and running right now. After you watching this video, at least 70%, 60-70% of you guys will have your remote working again. So first thing is this, I want you to go ahead and take out your batteries, pop open the remotes and pop the batteries out. Okay, once it's out, first thing I want you to do, so no batteries in here right now, I want you to go ahead and grab your remote and here's the power button right here. I want you to press and hold, hold the power button for like 10, 15 seconds. After 10, 15 seconds is up, go ahead and let go. Now what I want you to do is I want you to press every single button in and out a bunch of times, in and out, in and out. Typically what happens is like you can get lotion stuck in here or like debris and it gets one of the buttons like jammed. Anyways, keep doing this. Every single button, just go crazy. Every single button. The Netflix, Sling, Hulu, Amazon all the buttons and then I want you to do this smack it and then do the same thing again push all the buttons again in and out in and out in and out all the way now go ahead and insert your batteries and then do not put the uh, back lid on yet now go ahead and go to your remote and see if it's working if it's still not working then I'm, then what I want you to do is the same thing okay Go ahead and take the batteries back out and do the same thing. Remember, hold the power button down for about like 10, 15 seconds. After that's up, let go and then start pressing the power button in and out. And then every single button you want to press like a madman. Okay, I've gotten like tons of remotes working like this. All over, go crazy. Give it a few whacks. Then go ahead and put your batteries back in. Don't put the back back in, the, the back plate. Go ahead and see if the remote works. If it does, then obviously you can put this back. If not, I want you to go ahead and try it again. Pull the batteries out and do the same steps over again. Guys, now like I said, 60 to 70% of you guys, this is going to get your remote up and, run, uh, up and running. So please comment if it worked for you. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.